just hope you guys are doing great. I cannot believe that it is 2017, you guys. It is another year. And before we start this video, I want to say thank you guys for always supporting my channel. I want to say Happy New Year's to all you loves out there. If you guys brought in great last night, because I did. I woke up pretty late, but that's another story. So we're going to get focused on this video. I want to say hello to everyone. And as you see from the title, this is going to be a video on drugstore setting sprays. So this is going to be the battle of the drugstore setting sprays. Guys, I wanted to do a video to help you ladies or gentlemen who ever watched my video on some affordable setting sprays. I know everyone, you know, we don't make enough money to buy setting sprays, you know, that's $30 a bottle. I don't know about y'all, y'all probably can, but I got bills. I'm just an average woman and I, if I can find something that's affordable that's gonna work, then I'm gonna get it. <laughs> so hopefully this is helpful. Now, if you guys don't know what a setting spray is from the jump, that's what you use after you completely did your entire makeup, okay? Once you beat your face, even if you ain't beat your face, if you just halfway beating it, whatever, you know, you know what I'm saying? If you need to set that face. You need to set your face so that it can take away that powdery look, especially when you use powders and, you know, especially so that you can help your makeup last all day. So make sure with your setting sprays that you also shake up the, the bottle. Like the ingredients in your setting sprays need to be shook up to make sure that it gives you every ounce of ingredients to help your face, your makeup, okay? Now, these set of sprays all have different things that they claim that they do. I actually have six different set of sprays. I know y'all like, how the hell you got six different set of sprays? Oh, I'm shopping, y'all know how I do. I see something I wanna try, I'ma get it. So that's basically how I have ended up with six set of sprays and I couldn't believe that I did. I can't believe it. Now all these set of sprays, they're gonna range from the prices of about, about five bucks, no more than 13 bucks, okay? Each one of these you can get at the drugstore or Walmart, one or the other, okay, you guys? And I will link in the description box each one and basically a link if you wanna go check them out. You guys, it's this NYX Matte Finish um, Long Lasting Setting Spray, okay? Now, I actually purchased this before and I purchased it again, and I'm gonna let you guys know why I purchased it twice, okay? And so this is what the bottle looks like, you guys. Um, it's just, to me, just a flat, basically it's matte. You know, it's supposed to be a matte setting spray, so they made it to like be very flat, um, just a regular top uh, spray nozzle, and you get 2.3 fluid ounces. So you guys, you get 2.3 fluid ounces in this bottle. I think, I'm gonna be sure to try to put the price somewhere in this video. I think I pay at my local beauty spot store, I pay about, um, $6.99 or $7.99, I'm not sure you guys. One of those for this uh, setting spray. Now, I'm gonna tell you the guys the claims on the back and I'm gonna try to get through it quick. It's supposed to be a lightweight water-based setting spray that keeps your makeup looking matte amazingly through any kind of weather. Any kind of weather, okay? <laughs> um. And it tells you, you know, you're supposed to use most of your setting sprays about 10 to 12 inches away from your face whenever you are doing it. A lot of them tend to tell you to, um, you know, do like the, you do like the X and then you do the T so it can hit your entire face. Um, so that's basically what it says in a nutshell. I for one like this setting spray. Now, if you are a dry person, do I wouldn't get this at a spray. I think this is more towards the combination oily girls on the oily girls just period. Um, I'm combination skin, okay you guys? So I only get oily here, like bow, bow, T-zone, that's it. Right up in the nose and right here is where I get oily. Everything else is great, okay? So I got this because I am combination and it does work. I did notice this does help control your oils and your like whenever you're wearing your makeup and also it does give you like a nice wear to your makeup meaning it lasts longer than some of the other setting sprays that i have used before um i would say it gave me when i did use it it gave me about 
Uh, I'll give it about eight to nine hours of wear with this setting spray. And y'all, if y'all don't know, I stay down south and it's very humid. Okay, so <laughs> this is what I really like to use in the summer months. When it gets really hot, I like to use this setting spray because it really helps for my makeup to stay all day. I'll show you guys how they spray. Um, this one sprays. Um, I think it sprays really good. Um, it, it's for the scent. Oh, I didn't do that. Woo! Woo! <laughs> the scent. This one doesn't have a scent. I'm not good with scents. It's like a. I don't know. It's not really a fragrance to it. So it really doesn't have a scent. So it shouldn't, um, you know, affect you like smelling anything or your skin. But I would say check it out, you guys, if you're looking for a matte flat finish. This. So you guys, this would be like the second best one that I really like the way that it looks. The top is really pretty. It has like, like some little hearts on there. Heart candy always has pretty, um, Makeup. If you don't know, you can only purchase Horror Candy at Walmart. Of course, you can go on Walmart.com. So that's the only place that you can actually purchase Horror Candy. Now, this one was eight bucks, okay? You get 2.2 fluid ounces with this, which I think is not bad. But this is 2.03, and this one is 2.2. So you get a little more. It was eight bucks, and I have been using her. Now, you get the regular nozzle with most of the sprays that you get. And this one sprays, to me, weird. Uh, the reason why I said it is because when, I mean, it sprays, it, it's like the mist is, it doesn't have enough of force. So you can't actually, I don't think you can hold this one back like 10 to 12 inches and it's going to hit your entire face. You kind of want to bring it a little closer so it can hit everything. Love and hate relationship with this horror candy hydrating primer mist. The thing is, I think it's only good around this type of season, like winter, fall, when it's cooler months and you want your face to look more hydrating and you want to have like a nice glow. This would be the one for you. Or if you have very dry skin, this would be the one for you. Now, if you're combination skin and it's summertime, or if you oily and it's summertime and you spray this on your face, you're gonna look like a grease ball. A grease ball, y'all. This really works for me now because right now it's cool outside, I'm not sweating a lot, and it gives me a nice, fresh look. It does give you a nice, like you're glowing kind of look, you guys. Now, it does say um, it's a lightweight primer mist, so you can actually put this on before putting on your foundation, which I have tried. And I liked it. It was fine. Um, it gave me like a nice glow. It has coconut water in it. Um, it just leaves your skin very soft and smooth. And it does say you can you can apply it to set your face or you can use it as a primer. Okay. So the smell, you know, this one don't really have a smell, y'all. To me, it doesn't have a smell. But, I mean, it's really good. I feel like only if you want to have a nice, hydrating look. Hydrating, kind of like your face looks glowy, then I wouldn't recommend for you to get this one. Okay, guys, so this, the next one is Bay. The next one is Bay. okay? Um, <laughs> this is Hard Candy Fast and Fabulous Makeup Setting Spray. Again, you can only get this one at Walmart, you guys. And you get 2.2 just as well as you get... 2.2 in this one so they are exactly the same size but and this one i wouldn't say it mattifies your skin I, it doesn't actually say that anyways on the bottle it's just there to lock in your makeup for all day wear over your foundation your eyeshadow your blush your concealer it's there to set it so it can last like all day and it does this setting spray had my makeup looking great Audi. And I haven't used this off and on for a while. Like, this is not the first time y'all seeing this, okay? I've been using this for a while. It's only six bucks. You cannot beat that. Six bucks for a set of spray? You can't beat it. Now, this one is just a regular bottle. Nothing fancy really about this one. Um, it just says fast and fabulous makeup setting spray. And it sprays really good. So, if you can see the difference now, this one has a nice spray nozzle. To me, 
This one does it. This one sprays a little more force, but it's not too much. Because sometimes when you get a setting spray that sprays too much, you can have like blotches and you know patches on your face, and you don't want that. And I have noticed that with this one, you guys, with the hydrating one, I noticed like little patches because I don't feel like it basically spray completely, you know, evenly on my face. But this one sprays really good. It has like a coconut, no, it has like a cucumber kind of smell. A cucumber kind of smell. I don't mess with that elf one anymore. That elf one ain't done nothing for me, so it won't be in this review. Get it in a travel size. I don't know why, because they have the big one. I think the big one, you get about 3.3. This one, you get 1.0. Because I feel like I got so many setting sprays, why would I need the big one? You know what I'm saying? So, I always get the travel size one. Now, I got it from Walmart. The travel size one is about $7.99. But if you want the bigger one, you're going to pay between $13, I think, and $16. Okay? So, what I'll do is link the price for this one below and the price for the big one. This is L'Oreal Infallible Pro uh, Spray Set. Yeah, makeup extender. This came out about two years ago. It was hyped, it was really big. When it first came out, I did not purchase it. I think I purchased it just last year. I think, you guys. And I got it in a travel size. And I was like, well, let me try it just to see what the hype about. I like it. Um, I heard some things about it. I heard people talk about like it um has a, a chemical smell or it's it's not really good i don't know i feel like everybody's skin is different but for me it does wonders this thing i think out of almost all of these setting sprays because i think this one is very close to where it had my makeup lasting all day like hours like i will put my makeup on in the morning on the weekend because i really like to beat my face on the weekends y'all know that and I don't want to take my makeup off until like night. Like, I'm talking about late. And my makeup will still be looking good. So I really think this, it does what it says it does. It extends your makeup. Let me see. They say it has a smell, but to me, it, it does have a smell, but to me, it's, it's a little chemical, but then it also has like a hint of floral uh, um, this one you guys it comes in a box if you get the travel size one and it just comes um in this little box like this and i always keep my boxes and it's supposed to be a month supply so if you get this one it says you can use it for at least a month if you get the small one actually you guys i didn't get it when it first came out i think i got it this year and it comes with um 1.52 fluid ounces so out of all six that i have this one comes with the less um, product, but it's only $4.99. So out of all of them, this is the cheapest one, okay? Um, now the Photos Focus one, I, I don't know the claims. Let's go online and see the claims, because I never looked at the claims of the photo, photo Focus. This is supposed to be like basically good like for taking pictures, extending the, your makeup wear by preventing cracking and smudging and fading, increasing, and it works with any makeup, any skin types, um, it has LR to hydrate your skin. And it's supposed to last, help it last, like, extend your makeup wear. Is that true? Yes. <laughs> this is really good. I will honestly say out of all of this, these, this one and this one is, like, my second best. I'm serious. Like, y'all, this is really good. I don't know what else to say. Um, The Winter Wild Photo Focus, people are sleeping on it. They're not using it. They need to try it. I like to say it does extend your makeup wear as far as like control your oils or anything. I don't think that's what a lot of setting sprays are for, but they do have some for that, like the NYX matte, you know, or if it says it's there to control your oils, but still in doubt, it didn't make me more oily or anything. Um, the spray nozzle is really good. It's not too heavy. It, um, it comes out basically nice and even, so I don't have like those splotches or anything on my face. I say try it out, you guys. It's only five bucks. You can get it at Walgreens, or Walmart. It's a really good, if you're looking for, especially if you're just starting off makeup, this is a really good setting spray. Okay, guys, so we're gonna get to the end, and I know I've been talking, but this is how the review's gonna be. If you want me to give you an honest review, this is what I'm gonna do, okay? For 
are like my best buds, okay? My best buds. But if I want to pick one based on what it does and how much it is, it's going to be this one. Um, only reason why I, I wouldn't say this is because you don't get as much as you get in this one, okay? So this one is the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix All Control Fixing Spray. Now, I purchased this. You can only get Makeup Revolution at uh, Ulta, and I got it for six bucks. It's really pretty. I think out of all of them, this is like the best, the prettiest damn setting spray I didn't ever bottle I have ever seen. Um, it has like the rose gold on the top. You get a lot. You get 3.38 fluid ounces of setting spray really like it now it's supposed to all control um help with like all controlling your face it's lightweight it helps the uh the surface from shine of your and it gives you like a natural matte finish i'm glad that they said that because to me the nyx matte finish doesn't give you a natural matte finish but it does give you a matte finish which is good if you're oily but this one is to help if you have like an oil kind of problem, you know what I'm saying, your T-zone or you just oily person, it gives you a natural, a more natural look to where you don't look so flat. You look like you, you're you matte, but you're hydrated, if that makes sense. Um, but it also is supposed to help so that your foundation doesn't smudge, your eyeshadow, um, all those kind of things, and it's supposed to last up to 12 hours. I haven't used it up to 12 hours, I think, with this spray. I haven't had my makeup on that long, but I have used, I think, a good eight hours. Several people probably don't even know about this product um, because you can only get it at Ulta or you can, of course, order it online. Now, as far as the spray, it's great. I think it's a little more than most of the normal sprays. It's not too much force, but as long as you hold it back enough, it will hit your entire face and you don't need to spray your face that much. Um, I just think the bottle is gorgeous and that's the reason why honestly I got it. Let's care. I'll link each one of these below if you want to check them out online, you know, and purchase it. And I just hope this was helpful to someone who's looking for an affordable setting spray that will either give you a matte finish, a hydrated finish, and be affordable. One or the other. Whatever rocks your boat. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you loves in the next one. Happy New Year, loves. Bye.